Hey guys, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to create the Prezi effect using PowerPoint 2016. Given that you're here checking this tutorial, I'm assuming you already know what the Prezi effect is, but in case you don't, what you're seeing right now is called the Prezi effect. Essentially, it uses the pan and zoom technique to create this neat looking animation. So to create the Prezi effect, I'm going to be using the new morph transition in PowerPoint 2016. I've created a separate tutorial on how to use a morph transition along with many different examples to show you the versatility of this feature. So what I showed you is a very basic example of the Prezi effect. I kept it simple so it's easy for you to understand, but you can use your creativity to create cool looking Prezi effects. Okay, so now let me show you how to create it. So first of all, you are going to need a high resolution image to create a, an effective Prezi effect. Like I mentioned earlier, it's about using the pan and zoom technique. So you will be kind of zooming in to specific areas of the image or images. So it's important that your images are high resolution. So this is the image uh, that I'm using to create the Prezi effect. What I want to first show you is the actual size of the image in relation to the PowerPoint slide. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of slides on this uh, left side here, and um, that's how I've created it, essentially zooming into specific areas of the screen. And if you see the slides here, I've actually placed this little overlay, sort of a transparency, so you understand the size of the actual image and the size of the slide. So this transparency here is actually this uh, the size of the slide. So essentially if I just duplicate the slide so I don't mess it up, if I remove this transparency out of the way, let me just zoom out, and then if I remove the picture as you can see that is the actual, this one right here is the actual size of the slide which fits in exactly with this transparency that I placed. So let me just delete that slide so going back to the previous slide I showed you, uh, what I've done is just to give you an idea as to what portion of the picture you actually see. As you can see, the, the picture is far bigger in size compared to the actual size of the slide. And if I go to the slideshow, what you see is only that section. You don't see the other section. So similarly, in order to create the Prezi effect, what I do is I zoom into specific areas. So what, what I'll do now is, uh, before I show you how to do this, I'm just going to show you slide by slide how you can uh, use that uh, morph transition to create the Prezi effect. So this one right here is the very first slide, and I'm just going to click the slide show. So I start off with the full picture of the image, and then as I progress, I zoom into one area, then I move to the next area, so I'm basically panning here, and then I move, rotate the image 90 degrees and zoom into this area, and then again I rotate it 90 degrees, zoom into this area, and then I zoom out to see the full picture. So essentially that's how it works. A series of slides zooming into specific areas of, this, of the image. And like I mentioned, that's why you need to have a very high resolution image because when you zoom into specific areas, you do not want to have the grainy or pixelated uh, image. Going back to the very first picture, as you can see, this first slide, basically you see pretty much uh, the full image. Then when I move to the next slide, as you can see now, let me just zoom out even more, as you can see, the picture is enlarged so much so much so that only this section of the p image is seen in the second uh, transition. And when I move to the third transition, as you can see, it moves from here to here. And then the next transition, as you can see, I move to this section here, but also you notice that I've actually rotated the picture of the image 90 degrees. And then in the next one, you see I'm back to, I rotated the picture of the image back uh, to 90 degrees. The final slide, as you can see, I zoom out again, but you can see pretty much the whole picture. But as you can see, here the image is not zoomed in so much, whereas here it is zoomed in absolutely a lot, whereas most of the picture here is not seen. So let me just play that again, so again, it gives you sort of a reference point. 
So this is the first image where you see pretty much all of the information in that image. Then I zoom into this area here. I pan into this area. I turn or rotate the picture or the image 90 degrees. I do that again and zoom into this area and then I zoom out. So that's pretty much what you do. You create a series of slides. So let me show you how to create that now. So you essentially start off with this um, image and then what you do is you right click on that slide, the first image, and then you, you choose duplicate slide. So once you create a duplicate slide, as you can see, um, that's the one here. Now on the second slide what you need to do is you have to go to the transition tab this one right here and then if you click on it you have to choose the morph transition and apply it to the second slide so once you apply the morph transition to the second slide what you want to do is you want to zoom into that specific area here by just moving the picture the image and then once you've done that you duplicate that slide by right clicking it and uh, choosing duplicate and then that would be this next slide. So I move from this area to this area. So essentially what I did was from this previous slide, I just moved it into this area right there. And then in the following slide, as you can see, I rotated the picture 90 degrees and then zoomed into that area. So essentially what I would have done is if I go back to this slide here, I would have zoomed into this area here. Let me just zoom out completely. And then I would use this little uh, arrow here to rotate the picture 90 degrees and then I would move the picture right there. The final slide as you can see zooms into this area so essentially you would do the same thing you would rotate the the image so that only that section of the picture or the image is showing into the slide. And then finally the last one, you would keep duplicating the slides until you essentially get all the zooming effects and all the panning effects to create this final animation. So if you click on each of these, you will see the morph transition because they are essentially all duplicated slides and that's important. You need to duplicate the previous slide so it just um, uses that same image and when you use the morph feature, it automatically recognizes that it's that picture or that image. Once you created a whole series, you essentially created that uh, Prezi effect. So let me show you once again. I start off with this slide here. Let me just play the slideshow. I start off with the full image. Then I zoom into this area right here. And then I move to this area. I rotate the image 90 degrees and then I rotate it again and zoom into this area and then finally I zoom out. So as, as you can see I've got six slides here all duplicated the very first one, second one, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So for this specific um, Prezi effect I had to use six slides to accomplish this effect. So hope this gives you a good idea on how to create the Prezi effect. As mentioned earlier, you can check this tutorial to learn more on how to use a morph transition in PowerPoint 2016. Hope you found this tutorial useful. You can check my YouTube channel for more PowerPoint tutorials. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.